times his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Welcome to my podcast. Let's talk about it. I am your host, Candy Tunstow. And my I will be recording live every Monday at 11 o'clock from KAZ Radio. So what's this podcast all about? This podcast, um, first of all, I want to use today to do an introduction um, so that for future broadcasts, you'll know what to look for. So my podcast is all about, first of all, it's about spreading the word of God in an, in a non-traditional setting or non-traditional sort of way. It is meant to, my intentions are to enlighten, to um, encourage, to motivate, to elevate, to, to innovate, is, and it's also meant to give hope to help someone that has lost their way, find their way back to, to God and to, to just reality, so to, so to speak. And um, I would like to develop a relationship with my audience, root word being relate. I would like for my audience to know that I can relate to almost anything. And um, for my, in my future guests, we'll be talking about different things that we've gone through and, We'll be sharing how we got, how we overcame our um, different obstacles in our life. So I just want to help to show that there is relationship, there is hope for whatever you're going through. No matter what it is, you can get through it. There is hope. There is hope, and, and there is a God that loves you. You can change. Every day we wake up to a new mercy. And with that being said, because you wake up to a new mercy, because you and I wake up to a new mercy, we wake up to new opportunities. We wake up to new chances and there is nobody, no one that's out of God's reach. You too can start over. And a lot of us don't know where to begin again. We don't know how we know some of us know where to begin again, but we don't know how to start again, what what to do first. We don't know how to prioritize. So I want to help with all of that. But mostly I want to let you know that I can relate. The name of the show is let's talk about it. The reason is because I want to talk about my it and your it as well. And we can overcome it is together, whatever it is, whatever your life consists of, you can come, you can overcome. And so I just want to reach out to you, as I said, through the word of God, but in a non-traditional setting. I have overcome so much. I'm in my 50s, almost 60 years old, and I've been through a lot and I can relate to a lot. Anywhere from teen pregnancies more than once. Unwed, being an unwed mother, I can relate. I can relate to grief, the loss of parents, both parents. People say they, they understand, but you cannot relate until you've actually experienced that. I lost my mother. I lost my father. I can relate to the loss of a sibling. I've lost four of them, three brothers and one sister. And I can even relate to the loss of a child. I lost my daughter 10 years ago. So I can relate, and I know the pain is still there, it still hurts, but I can help you. I want to help you overcome the pain and the hurt because it never goes away, but we learn how to navigate our way through it. So I can relate to a lot of things. Homosexuality, not not that I'm a homosexual, but, but having one in the family because I remember I had a fear of, you know, I used to pray, Lord, don't let me ever have to deal with homosexuals, but then I have a grandchild that's a homosexual. And so I had God show me that I too can even deal with that. I, I know what it's like to, to lose hope and not have anyone to encourage you to not have a support system. I know what it's like to lose your home, to lose a job, to lose your finances. I can relate. I think about the story in the Bible where Jesus told the, the lame man to rise up and to take up his bed and walk. And what your bed represents is whatever you're going through, you can get up from it and walk away from it. So today I just want to encourage you to rise up. And this is what the show is going to be all about, getting up from where you are. I can relate to pain, pain from loved ones, even, even the pain from those that are in the church. I've been hurt by more, more by church folk than I have by anybody. And so with that being said, listen, it's, it's, but it's not a reason to walk away from the church. It's not a reason to walk away from the building. It's because everybody is not the same. And we have to remember that everybody in the church is not saved. Everybody that stands in the pulpit is not saved either. See, our hope is to be in God. The Bible told us to love man, but to trust God. So as long as we hang on to the word of God, I believe we can get through this. So where, where are you hurting at? Ernest Pugh wrote a song that says, God wants to heal you everywhere you hurt. And I say that to you today, that God wants to heal you. 
Everywhere you are hurting at, where are you hurting at? What's going on in your life? God woke you up this morning, like I've already said. You are living on God's mercy. We are all living on God's mercy and his grace. And God says, I have no respect of person. What he has done for one person, he'll do for you. God doesn't play favorites. God doesn't care where you live. He doesn't care what you drive. He doesn't care what your bank account looks like. He doesn't care how much money you make. He, God doesn't care whether you live on 30th. Or whether you live in Pepper Pike. God doesn't care whether you have on red bottoms or black bottoms. God is not concerned with your outward makeup, but God is concerned with your soul. So I want to take this, this opportunity through this podcast, through this programming, to, to reach out and help somebody to know that God loves you. God loves you. Listen, Donnie McClurkin wrote a song that say, We fall down, but we get back up. I want to let you know that you can get back up again. You can get back up again. And listen, if God brought you to it, he will bring you through it. I think about Psalms 121, which is one of my favorite. Psalms 121 says, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help, my help comes from the Lord. So first of all, we need to know where our help comes from. When you're looking all over the place and you can't find anybody, in the midnight hour when you don't know who to turn to, when you're sitting up in that chair, you're feeling lonely and tears are streaming down your face. Listen, God is there. Listen, the Bible says if I made, made my bed in hell, God is there. If I had the wings of a dove and flew to the utmost part of the earth, God is there. God is with us in not just when we're on our mountain when things are going well. See, a lot of us think God is only with us then, when our, when our children are behaving, when our marriage is intact, when our bank account is nice, when, 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 when our bills are all paid, when, when everything, when we have food, our, our houses are um, stored with plenty. But no, God is not only the God on the mountain, but God is the God. He's right there with you in the valley when you're feeling lost and turned out, when you lost your way. I would like to use this programming to say, listen, Jesus is real. He is Lord. Whether you believe it or not, God is real. Jesus is real. He died for you. He died for everything that you've been through, and he's died through everything that you're going to go through. When Jesus said on the cross, it is finished, that, rips, that means, listen, well, he's already done all of, the, all of the work. All we have to do is walk through it. All we have to do now is walk in victory. The enemy, listen, he will remind you of your past. But every time the enemy reminds you of your past, you have to remind him of his future. And he hasn't one. He has a future in hell. So I say to you, listen, get up. You can get up from where you are right now. I don't care. It does, it does not matter how long you've been in it. It doesn't matter. God, listen, God, God has no respect of person like I've already said. So with that being said, I tell you this. A lot of people think one sin is greater than the other. Not so. If you are a liar and someone else is a murderer and someone else is a rapist, in God's eyes, they are all equivalent. So you can get, listen, God will forgive you for all of that. If you are a homosexual, a homosexual God will forgive you. A lot of us, we're, we're living in fear today. But I think it's um, 2 Timothy 1 and 7 says, God has not given us a spirit of fear. See, fear keeps us bound. I'm going to do a segment on fear real soon. But fear, what fear does is it keeps us in bondage. It's paralyzing. It's traumatizing. If you look at the scripture, God has not given us a spirit of fear. That lets us know right off that God, that fear does not come from God. But what did God give us? First of all, he said he gave us power. So God gave us power to overcome everything we are going through. He not only gave us power, but he said he gave us love. What kind of love? He gave us the love of God, not man's love, because man's, man's love is conditional, but God's love is unconditional. And he also gave us a sound mind. That means God gave us peace. So whatever you are living in fear of, some of us are in fear of being married, married. Some of us are in fear of leaving a marriage that we know God did not ordain. Some of us are in fear of death. I, I told you earlier about how I experienced uh, many deaths. I used to fear dying. When you are a child of God and you develop an intimate relationship with God and the closer you get to God, you learn that death is a part of life. And then you, you become not afraid of dying. You, you get to a point where you want Jesus to come on back and resurrect the church. 
So listen, do not allow the ways of the world and the things that's happening in the world to keep you in fear. Do not let them to hold you in bondage. Do not let them traumatize you. I know we have COVID out here. We hear of wars and rumors of wars. We hear of all different murder. The Bible said the Bible said these things would happen. The Bible said in the last days, men would not desire the wealth, of, the, the warmth of a woman's body. The Bible also said in the last day, the days that blood will be running in the streets. So, in other words, listen. And the Bible also said that there will be no marriage and giving in the marriage. The Bible also said this. Listen, that you will be even thrown in prison for things you have not even done. We're living in that right now. We're living in a world in a world where everything is acceptable and the church has become the minority. Where is God at in it? So I want to use this platform to preach and teach the word of God, not to necessarily be preachy, but to spread the word of God in a non-traditional setting. Because God meets us where we are. I believe we are to meet each other where they are. God loves you. God loves you no matter what. So get up. Get up from right where you are right now and whatever you're going through. And I pray that God will wipe your tears away. I pray that something will be said or done in this broadcast to help you along the way. I even pray for those of us that feel like we have it all together and we feel like we don't need anything. Our bank account is fine. We dress well. We're driving our dream car. Our families are doing fine. But like the pastor I grew up under, not that I'm wishing anything bad on anybody, but I guarantee you this, you are not fine without God. My mother used to say this when I was growing up, everything is going down but the word of God. So if you're not standing on the word of God, everything else that you're standing on is sinking sand. It will go down. It will sink. But listen, trust God. Trust God. Know that you can turn to him in the midnight hour. And I told them at church yesterday, God can ready to turn some things around. God is ready to turn some things around for you. What do you need from God? He's available. His arms are open wide. And the Bible in Proverbs says, God inclines his ear unto us. So God is listening. I don't care what you've done. So in this podcast, as I bring on different guests, it's really all about the relationship, relating, relating. I will be sharing some personal stories. My guests will be sharing some personal stories. And I am a very transparent person, so you'll hear a, a lot about me because I'm not worried about being judged or what someone else thinks or whatever. As long as my life is in line with God's word, I don't worry about the naysayers. And I'm not looking for all, the, all of the accolades, but what I am li- looking to do is to help somebody along the way. I don't need brag rights. I don't need that. Never had it. And God has brought me to almost 60 years old without it. So it lets me know I don't need it. I need God. I need my life to, I need to live right before God. Because when it's all over, when this is all over, because all of these things are going to pass away. The Bible told me to build my hopes on things eternal. These things are going to pass away. Heaven and earth, the Bible says, is going to pass away. But there is something. Listen, there's a life after this. You make the choice. Where are you going to spend eternity? Because whether we believe in heaven or hell or not, it doesn't change the fact that it does exist. And you will spend eternity somewhere. And either, either whether you spend it in hell or heaven, you're going to live on. So you make the choice. Do I go to heaven and live on in glory? Where the Bible says the streets are paved with gold and the gates are pearly and it's nothing but joy. Can you imagine being in a place where there is no sadness? Or do you spend your eternity in hell where where you burn continually, continually, eternally, never ending? And you're going to feel it. So either way it go, you're going to live forever. But you make the choice where you live at. Again, I love you, and, 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 and I mean it. I love you with the love of God. And what I want you to take away from this show, like I've said earlier, I want you to be inspired. Somebody needs to encourage today. You've turned to family, 
family has turned their back on you. See, I know what it's like for all of that to happen. I know what it's like to be rejected. I know what it's like to just lose your hope and, 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 and cry out to God. And it looks like there's no answer. And then suddenly, suddenly God steps in and he answers. And he moves. So listen, you, you can begin again. Today, today you can start all over again. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. You make the choice. And I end on this note. Listen, until next time, next Monday, live at 11 o'clock from KAZ Radio. If you're going to trust God, then trust the process.